Hey guys, today we're looking at quick looping in Reaper. So this is what I call quick looping. I'm just gonna show you what this looks like in the actual project. So if I bring in a file from the Media Explorer or from Finder, and I drag it out, and I want this to, uh, to loop on every quarter note. So the original file is only about a 16th note long, but I want it to loop at every quarter note. So I just drag it out, I double click the edge, and you see that the waveform kind of changed. Now if I drag this out, it's gonna start looping. So yeah, that's my quick looping workflow, and I use this a ton. So if I've got my, my, uh, my bass drum like that, and I've got my clap here, I'll put this on beat two, I'll stretch it out to beat four. So now it's a half note long. Double click the edge, drag it out, and now it's like this. And I'll just do one more with the hi-hat. So I'll just set my grid to 16th notes, and I'll make sure that this is exactly a 16th note. Right? Double click it, drag it out, and now it is looping on every 16th note. So it's really quick for making little loops like this. So I'll show you what you need to do to get this set up. First of all, you go into the preferences and you go to the media item defaults and make sure that loop item source for imported items is turned off. Um, I, I tend to turn all of these off. Uh, that's just how I like to work. I, I choose when and where and how much of an item that I want to loop. I never want anything to loop by default. So next you need to go to the mouse modifiers and you go to media item edge and double click. And my default action for media item edge double click is SWS loop section of selected items. So this does require the SWS extension. If you're a Reaper user, you probably have this already. If not, you really should. There's so many reasons to have this. So what this action does is just turn on this loop source toggle here, and as well as the section, which is um, you know the, the section that you defined by trimming the item at the beginning. Um, so this clap, if it's on um, every half, it's a half note pattern right now. If I double click the edge again, it's going to reset that uh, loop length. And now if I drag it out, it's going to be every, I don't know what that is, every 2.1. So let's just put this at, uh, I don't know, let's put this right, right here, which is uh, one and double click it and then drag it out. So there you go. This works on audio and MIDI. MIDI is a little bit different sometimes, uh, depending on the actions you use. Sometimes it won't, won't loop that section, especially if it was recorded longer than uh, the actual length of the item that's in the project. It's kind of weird, um, but you can trim the item and then glue it, and that will always let you loop it. So, um, so just keep that in mind if you're working with MIDI and you want to run this mouse modifier. So I hope you found this useful. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You can follow me on Facebook and Twitter, join our Facebook group, Reaper Blog Community, support the Reaper Blog through Patreon, and visit reaperblog.net for a lot more tutorials. 